Hello, everyone. Welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. In this particular segment, we're going to be looking at how to prepare for the KEEM exam, which is Kerala Engineering Architecture Medical Exam. Now, this is a very important exam if you want to enter into uh, a job. So, therefore, uh, it is quite difficult for some, and therefore, we're here to fast track your way into this exam. So, today, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at some questions asked in previous episodes, previous editions of this exam, and then try to solve them for you so that you can get a feel of how the exam is going to look like. So, for this particular uh, set of videos, we're going to be looking at each subject and each chapter in detail. So, to start things off, we're going to be looking at chemistry and the first, you know, concept uh, which deals with basic concepts of chemistry as well as atomic structure. So, let's kick things off with a beautiful question. Let's begin with our first question. Which of the following contains maximum number of molecules? Is it 100 cc of CO2, 150 cc of N2, 150 cc of SO2, 50 cc of O2, 200 cc of NH3 at standard temperature and pressure? So, how do we solve this question? Well, we need to find out how to convert volume, which here is in cubic centimeters, into molecules. So, if you want to calculate the number of molecules from volume, that can be calculated by dividing the given volume, which, if in centimeter cubes, with 22,400 centimeter cube, which is the volume of one mole of any gas. And then we multiply this quotient with Avogadro's number. So that will be 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. Now, when you look at all of the given options, it's only the numerator that's going to change. So for option A, it will be 100 divided by 22,400 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. For options B and C, it will be 150 divided by 22,400 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. For option D, it will be 50 divided by 22,400 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. And for option E, it will be 200 divided by 22,400 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. So as you can see over here, it's only the numerator that changes. So if you have multiple fractions with the same denominator, the greater value of that fraction would be associated with a greater numerator. So for that, we just need to know which of these has the maximum volume that will contain the maximum number of molecules. So among the following, it will be option E, 200 cubic centimeters. Options D, A, B, and C are incorrect because they are not the maximum volume. If they So 50 is actually the least, 100 is also quite less, 150 is close to 200, but it's lesser. So therefore, they, they won't have the maximum number of molecules because of the simple reason that their volume is lesser than option E, which is 200. Now let's look at this question. The numerical value of n divided by n, where capital N is the number of molecules in a given sample, and, and lowercase n is the number of moles of the gas, is, is it 8.314, 6.02 10 raised to 23, 0.0821, 1.66, 1.62? So we need to find out the answer to this question. So. This essentially is quizzing us on how to convert the number of moles 
into molecules. For that, we use Avogadro's number. So, if we were to find out the number of molecules, that will be capital N, we just need to multiply the number of moles of the gas with Avogadro's number, which would be N times 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. So if you need to find the ratio between uppercase N and lowercase N, that will be equal to 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. So if you want to find out the number of moles, you divide the number of molecules by Avogadro's number. If you want to find the number of molecules, you multiply Avogadro's number to the number of moles. So therefore, the correct option in this case is option B, 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. 8.314 is the ideal gas constant. Option C is also the universal gas constant. And 1.66 into 10 raised to minus 19 is the universal constant of gravity. 1.62 into 10 raised to minus 24 is a different constant. It's not the numerical value of the number of molecules divided by the number of moles of a specific sample of gas. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, so the mass of 11.2 liters of ammonia gas at STP is 8.5 grams, 85 grams, 17 grams, 1.7 grams, 4.25 grams. Here again, we need to convert volume to mass. And the way to do that is through the mole concept. So we convert volume into number of moles, and then we convert number of moles into mass. Here we have ammonia, which is which has a chemical formula NH3, and this molecule has a gram atomic mass of 17. The reason being that you have one nitrogen atom weighing 14 and three hydrogen atom weighing one each. So therefore, 14 plus three would give you 17. Now. How do we calculate the number of moles when you have volume given? You will be having the given volume, preferably in liters or even in ml. So if you have the given volume in liters, you divide it by 22.4. And that will give you the number of moles present in that gas, in that sample of gas. In this case, it is 11.2. So you can divide it by 22.4, remove the decimals, and you have 112 divided by 224. Again, simple case really, 112 multiplied by 2 gives you 224. So therefore, the number of moles is equal to half, which you can also write as 0.5 moles. Now that you know the number of moles in 11.2 liters of ammonia gas, we need to find out the mass. The mass of 11.2 liters of NH3 would be equal to the number of moles times the molar mass, which in this case is 17. So therefore you will have 0 0.5, or in this case, let's use one by two, times 17. So we have 17 divided by two, classic division, so, 2 times 8 gives you 16, you get 1, if you add a decimal point you can add zeros, you now have 10, 5 times 2 gives you 10, so therefore you have a remainder of 0 and a quotient equal to 8.5. So 8.5 grams is, a ma is the mass of 11.2 liters of NH3. So therefore the correct option in this case is option A, 8.5 grams. So it's very important to learn constants when it comes to basic concepts, because if you want to convert, uh, you know, different convert different quantities, you would need to know the constants present in each conversion. Like for volume, you need 22.4. If you want to calculate the number of molecules from the number of moles, you need to know the Avogadro's number, and so on and so forth. That concludes this episode of Cream Crash Course. Now, we at Agile Rankmate focus on providing carefully curated content. 
So we would like you to use our content for your various purposes. After all, our aim is to provide top quality content for education. So as you leave this video, please don't forget to show your support by subscribing to our channel. You can also like the video if you've enjoyed it and you can share it to all of your peers if you find it useful. Also, you can comment on the various aspects of the video. What did you like? What could be improved? What can be done to, you know, spread it more? So you can always give your feedback in the comment section down below. Again, if you are subscribing and you want to get notifications about our videos, then please hit the bell icon. Again, that's present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay safe, Ta-ta for now.